Okay, so I'm going to take a look again at the code set out here. Um, and maybe I can find the, yeah, the, so AA Smith JavaScript option stuff. And I'm just looking through the code and I see here that the function, somewhere in the function necessarily Black Scholes uh, algorithm has to be called up. So we actually have a, a Black Scholes um, function here and it does set out, I mean, there is implied um, probability, normal cumulative probability uh, defined in the function and we have rd1, d2 and there's even Vegas, the, um, the Greeks are defined here. So let's just go back and see, can we implement a straightforward Black Scholes estimation then using the Java script code. So I, I go into uh, keeping in mind that um, I've loaded then here into the script editor, the same code obtained from the GitHub website. Okay, so recover draft. And uh, when I come down again, uh, we might just take note that the code here for Black Scholes is set out here and this is typical Black Scholes conventional uh, code. Okay, so what do I have? Let's paste in the function that we highlighted, paste, and we'll set out a set of variables in the same order as uh, as outlined in the function. So we have call, we have the stock or the asset value, we have the exercise and the option, risk rate, right, volatility, and the time period. Okay, and we'll put in a set of values, so 100, 100, um, now it, this should be true, and true would mean yes, true, it's a call, and then for the exercise 100, for the risk free rate, we're going to go with 5%, for the volatility, 20%, and then for the maturity of the option is equal to 1, okay, 1 year. And then I, I'll load in the code, load in the function, so black, or maybe I just paste. Right, so right click, paste, and then I go back and I follow the chronology of the variables entered in between the parentheses. So it's true, comma, 100, comma, 100 for the exercise, comma, risk free rate 5%. The volatility 20%, annualized volatility 20%, and the maturity of the option 1, and our result should be 1045. Okay, 104505. In fact, if I copy this, just take that value. Okay, if I write in 104507. 589, 589, I should get even closer here to the implied volatility of 20%. Okay, so, well, it's about the same. Okay, so I, I should probably take a slightly closer look here at the algorithm for setting out the um, normal distribution. Okay, so um, I'm I should go back and take a second look at that, look at that probability. But looks good anyway, um, looks uh, relatively accurate, it can be fine-tuned later on. Okay, so that's uh, relatively positive. And again, uh, it's a function, could we, what if we put in false here? And uh, that's the value of the pot. Okay, so if I'm looking for the value of the call, I would put in true, because that's the way the code is set up and then 1045 and then if I'm looking at false means well false not a call if it's not a call it's got to be put and we have a value of 557 uh, which is consistent with what we'd normally expect for a black shoulder European put option with these parameter uh, values entered in okay so uh, again another application here of that code that we came across from the JavaScript and just to point out uh, 
it's AA Smith JavaScript option stuff.